So my name is Georgie Barrett, I'm a tech journalist and broadcaster. I write for a number of publications including The Guardian, Tech City News, Marie Claire, The Mirror, all on technology. Um, but I also do TV work, so I joined The Gadget Show, um, which I've been doing now for two seasons, and the third one's coming up in a couple of months. Um, and I also do reports for things like ITV Tonight. There really isn't a typical day in my working week, but that is sort of the nature of being freelance. And I also love that because it adds loads of different variety and keeps them quite motivated because I'm very much in control of what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. But to give you a rough idea, I may be working on an article at one time. So, you know, I'll be doing phone interviews or some research around that. Um, when it comes to filming, I'm probably filming a couple of days a week, which takes me abroad and also to different places in the country. And then on top of that, I do quite a lot of corporate work. So that could be prepping for something like um, uh, sort of hosting an event or putting together questions for a panel discussion or maybe working on a new keynote. So loads of variety. When it comes to technology, I'm very privileged because I get to sort of try things before they come to market. Um, I went over to Boston recently to try Gita, um, which is a follow me robot and it's completely autonomous. You wear a device yourself and it's meant to help to carry your shopping about the place. They're thinking about how robots are going to be used in the pedestrian environment. And then around my house, just personally, I love IoT products. I love having a connected home. I've recently just got the iKettle, which is a kettle that's connected to the internet. So I can be really lazy and boil it from my sofa. But not only that, I can also um, link it up to my alarm clock. So it boils every time my alarm goes off. The tech industry is still not diverse. You know, there's 17 percent of women currently work in technology. There is a huge push at the moment across the board both in terms of government initiatives and what businesses are doing in trying to get more women into tech and there's lots of sort of conferences and talks around women in tech and how we do this. So I do think that this is the beginning of the change but we've got such a long way to go. The pipeline really does need to be fed not just about getting more women into tech but generally we're going to have a digital skills gap um, by 2020, we need 750,000 more workers in this space. So to encourage people across the board to go into technology, I think is really, really vital. Millennials as a cohort have really been shaped and influenced by tech and social media. And you know, I am a millennial. So a lot of those things that I talk about and explore through my research is from drawing on my own experience with my fellow peers. What I speak on is from my perspective as a millennial, why we are the way we are, why we are sort of this sort of needy generation. But equally, I give advice and tips on how best to manage and motivate this cohort. When it comes to live events, um, I think being a journalist really gives me that edge when it comes to asking questions or introing speakers or just sort of summarizing the key themes of that day. I also think it's really important at any event to add a little bit of personality, to ad lib, and um, to just have a bit of fun with it because there's nothing worse than sort of a dry conference. So to sort of inject a bit of personality in there is also really important.